Did I just discover the best reading and life hack? Reading while walking on the treadmill. Here I am scrolling on TikTok as one does. And I saw like 10 videos in a row of people saying that reading while walking on the treadmill at the gym is the best way to get in pages, feel engaged, not get bored or fall into a reading slump, and of course get steps in, get a good workout in. I'm someone who is on a health and fitness journey right now, and I've also been in a reading slump. So will this A, help me get out of my reading slump, and B, help me be active, actually get to the gym. Here's the game plan. Today is Monday and for the next seven days, I'm gonna go to the gym and walk for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna count how many pages I do each day, how long I walk, and include any feelings, if it was hard, how it went, and at the end, I'll just do an overall review and if I'm gonna keep doing this. Plus, I'll answer those first two questions. Today's day one, let's get into it. First impressions are this is a great way to read and get a workout in. I felt so immersed in the book that I kind of forgot I was walking. I walked almost an hour and was only planning on 30 minutes so that just goes to show when you're into it, you're into it. But I read really slow. I only read 27 pages in about 50 minutes. Usually I read about a page a minute. I am dyslexic so sometimes I read slower depending on the book. That was more like half a page a minute which is fine because I don't know if the goal wasn't necessarily to read faster but more so to be able to do two things at once and so far I do think this is getting me out of my reading slump because I'm finally a couple chapters into this book that I've been putting off for no reason but we will see how it goes the rest of the week so see you on day two Forget hot girl walks, find a treadmill, grab a book. I just walked for an hour and 12 minutes and I honestly would have kept going if my headphones weren't about to die and I'm really hungry and want lunch. I walked 2.7 miles. I was walking relatively slow, but you know, I need to focus on my book. I still feel like I'm reading really slow. I only read 38 pages. I'm now on page 77, chapter 11 of Throne of Glass. The book is getting so good. <sighs> I love it. As the book picks up, I wanted to like walk faster, but I knew I'd be distracted. Now that I'm on day two, I think there's a few reasons I'm reading slower, obviously because I have to focus on like walking, like double tasking, not really my specialty, but also because I'm taking breaks to like grab clips or like look around the gym. So it is a little bit distracting, but my goodness, is it a good workout? Great for getting your steps in. I feel 100% out of my reading slump. I'm so into my book. Yesterday, I did not have a good treadmill spot. Today, I got the best treadmill spot so far I'm concluding that this is a great way to get some exercise in but we'll see how we do tomorrow page 125 we started on page 85 and yes that means i actually read not walking which means i'm definitely out of my reading slump if i am also reading before bed and all that that puts us at 40 pages for today and i walked for a little over an hour i did have a phone call that i answered for like 10 minutes in there so other than that we read our most today still reading really slow i think i'm just a slow reader today i think i was dehydrated i was feeling extra tired and the gym was so hot so i was definitely struggling but i pushed through and i will say this is definitely working as far as like not giving up on like a little walk and staying at the gym longer because my story was getting good and even though i was tired and kind of dehydrated and my head was hurting and i was hot i was pushing through plus this is kind of my designated reading time so i'm getting more pages in while working out i love it Day four is definitely interesting. 
I've read a little bit since I got home, but I started on page 125 and ended on page 163 at the gym, which can't do math, 38 pages. And I walked for pretty much an hour. I was very distracted today because I brought a tripod and a mic and I was trying to do like mic'd up. You could not hear a thing I was saying. It was kind of a distraction day, but I still walked for an hour and still got in a good amount of pages. And then I actually tried out a little bit of jogging, but my camera had died. Like I said, today was a flop. I ran for the last like three minutes and it was pretty hard to read and like do a light jog at the same time, but I still got a couple pages in while running. So maybe tomorrow I'll do a little running. Start with a run, end with a run type of thing, but the book is getting really good. I still pretty much stand by everything I said. And I think I'm just standing in a hot place because it was hot again. I'm gonna try again to do like little mics up so I can talk to you guys while I'm reading tomorrow, but we'll see if I can get the nerves or the confidence to actually hold my mic and talk to a camera at the gym. All right, we are back. We'll see if you guys can actually hear me today. Okay, talking directly into the mic today. All right, we are on page 190, chapter 26. It's getting good, I'm very excited. Um, I don't have a ton of time to walk today, so it might only be like a 20 page. I may even just read this one chapter, we'll see. Now, today won't be a problem, but I like to put the timer on my phone because sometimes I, I walk longer than an hour. The treadmill will stop after an hour, so here we go. Walking at 2.2 miles per hour, that's kind of been my go-to. I'm kind of impressed with myself because there's actually more people here today. And we're out here recording, mic'd up. All right, let's read. Today, I only read 10 pages. I was really not in the mood to work out or anything today, but I guess that's the beauty of doing this challenge is I was looking forward to reading and I told myself I couldn't read unless I went and walked on the treadmill. So it was only like 15 minutes of walking, 10 pages in, but 10 pages is better than zero pages. That's all I'm saying. Book is good and now I'm reading apart from the gym. So I like definitely out of my reading slump, which was a huge goal of that. Not to mention it's like gloomy, cold and rainy. Even though I'm walking inside, I still have those vibes, you know, just walking to the gym and it's all disgusting, but I'm gonna go get coffee now. So that'll brighten the mood. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We did it. Seven days of consistently walking while reading on the treadmill, and I absolutely love it. So let's answer those first two questions. Did it get me out of my slump? Absolutely. I read an entire book and started the next one within this one week, and it's been a little bit since I actually did that, and I've read a lot more since then. So 100% this got me out of my slump. And did it help me stay active? 100%. And since filming this video, I've been super consistent in the gym, and I can always trick myself by saying, I'll just go walk on the treadmill for a little bit and do a little reading. But will I keep doing this? I don't know if I'll necessarily make it a goal to read for like an hour and walk, but if I am lacking motivation to either read or work out, I think this is a great way to get back into it and I'd highly recommend it. I do have a walking pad at home, so I was thinking maybe I should do the same thing but using the walking pad at home to see if I can get in some more steps. And I highly recommend if you're going to do this to use a Kindle if you have one or you get the Kindle app on your phone. You can get books free from the library on your Kindle using the Libby app, which is what I did for this video. I didn't attempt to read with a physical book, but I would imagine it would be a lot harder. But whatever works for you, I highly recommend trying it out. When I was telling people I was doing this, a lot of people kept saying that they felt like they would fall off the treadmill. Honestly, it was really easy to stay on. I didn't feel imbalanced or anything like that. It was pretty easy just setting up the Kindle and then just walking and reading it, or you could hold the Kindle. I never once almost fell off or anything like that. And I'm a pretty clumsy person. And it wasn't that hard to stay focused on the reading. It was probably more of distracted reading than let's say laying in bed, but it wasn't super distracting. And I am someone who gets very, very easily distracted. Overall, I would 
rate this challenge a 10. And if you want to hear about my rating of the books that I was reading in the Throne of Glass series, you can actually go to my book channel. It's always linked down in the description. I post reviews, do full plot overviews, reading vlogs, and so much more over there. So if you're really into reading, go over there. And if you want to see more challenges like this, then you can subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.